Hey, hi, hello, Aquarius. This is Terra Illumination with a mini playlist for Jupiter and Scorpio uh, for 2017, 2018. It's that big year-long transit we just started. And uh, this is just to give you like a little bit of an overview, give you a snapshot of what's what things what's what's sort of happening here. We got some themes and keywords. If you look down here, if you look down here, you can take your time. I'll leave this up here. And these are some of the very important keywords that resonate with Scorpio type of energy. Okay. And all of these uh, energies here. Now at the same time, in this little box here are the key, some of the key core themes of the energy of the planet Jupiter itself. So what we're doing is when basically we're saying what happens when Jupiter moves into Scorpio? Well, what happens is you get all of this energy here that starts to amplify and trigger and expand all of these themes over here. Okay? I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to keep this into a very, very short, compact little video for fun. And then if you have to, you can rewatch things to digest it. Okay? So these are the important themes that Jupiter itself would resonate. That Jupiter is the great benefic. It's all about good fortune, truth, expansion, healing, optimism, opportunity, fun, and luck. It's the, it's the planet of joy and fun and happiness. Uh, good luck, good fortune. Uh, and hi also higher consciousness, growth, law, and beliefs. Okay, So you're taking all that wonderful, magnificent energy and pumping that into these themes here, the, the, uh, the heavy, deep uh, energies of Scorpio, the, the going to the depths, the depths of beyond, deep, deep soul merger, deeply uh, intimate soul-to-soul uh, -soul contact, above and beyond boyfriend-girlfriend, above and beyond living together, above and beyond marriage. We're, called, what, uh, we're talking about what goes on deep inside of souls as they merge with others complete soul merger here and the, the the shadow side and the dark side of it because we are totally exposed at that level there's nowhere to hide with uh, scorpionic type energies it's all out there it's all about the power it's all about the deep soul merger it's ultimately from my perspective at terra illumination it's ultimately about deep transformational healing so We'll just leave that there for a moment. So you've got it. You can pause it and stop it right there if you want to. And then we're going to now just jump right into your little reading. It's going to look like this. Okay, first of all, for you Aquarius, all of this stuff that we just talked about, it's happening up here in your 10th house of career. Basically, your place in this world, your place of being maximum out there on the planet where all eyes are on you. And it's all about your ability to succeed and manage and be in charge and be highly accountable and responsible uh, for, for bringing your gifts and talents to the world in a way that is uh, tangible, manageable, and useful and valuable to others. Okay? Call it your career, your place in this world. Okay? So all of that stuff we just talked about is happening for you right here. And that's you, Aquarius. All right? In your 10th house. Now let's do, just hold that for you there. Okay? There you go. Now we're going to do your little mini reading. It's going to look like this. We're going to pull four cards here and then some weather in the background. The cards are already pre-shuffled. And uh, we're going to shuffle them again just to the last minute so that you're a witness. And we're going to focus kind of like what we do on the Sunday Night Live. Very simple uh, energy themes and try and extract the most that we can out of a very short, simple reading. No jumpers, no flyers, no oracles, no reversals. The cards are perfectly capable of telling a story just as they are. All right. Again, already pre-shuffled, but we're going to the last moment for you, Aquarius. Now we're going to cut. Make the best of it. All right. Again, always with Jupiter, it's making the best of it, seeing the opportunity, understanding the shadow side of the opportunity, what's blocking it. So here's how it's going to work out. This is would be you and your situation. This would be your opportunities, 
or your golden opportunity now with Jupiter blessing you in that 10th house. This would be the challenges, of course, like whatever is exposed on the shadow side of these energies uh, that would, let's say, impede your evolution, your chance to tap into all the good opportunities. And of course, this is inside you. Now, over here, we're going to try and find a way about how you can handle it and make the best of it, okay, so that you can really make the best of this year up ahead as Jupiter moves through Scorpio, because somewhere at some point or other, you for Aquarius, it's going to eventually touch that trigger point at that particular degree in your chart where Scorpio lies right up here, okay? Now, this is not an astrology channel, but I'm trying to link it in a little bit so you have better understanding of the cards as they come out. First of all, let's look at the weather. Do, 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 do. Wow, okay, with judgment going on here, we're talking about massive kind of like opportunities to reboot. It's almost like angels above are saying, hey, listen, Aquarius, come on, come on. This is a big moment. This is a really big opportunity for you. This is a really big chance because it doesn't happen very often. This is a 12-year cycle. With the judgment here, it's a very, very big deal. It's a very big indication that you, Aquarius, for whatever reasons, whatever didn't work in the past, uh, whoever needs forgiving is forgiven. Whoever uh, you need to forgive or whoever needs to forgive you is forgiven. It's automatic. It's happening. You're being given, uh, let's just say, ultimate in reclamation, redemption, reconciliation, where you can rise up and start absolutely from scratch again, unimpeded. It's like going to bankruptcy court and all of a sudden, wow, they just cleared everything and I'm free to go. And they say, yes, dear Aquarius, you are free to go. Now, please don't mess up again, okay? But you're free to go. Have a wonderful life. You're starting all over. It's fantastic. You have our blessings. You have our divine guidance and blessings. So really, it is very much a seize the moment year for you, Aquarius, especially when it comes to career and your place in this world. What's the situation? Well, coming into full dominion, total like ownership of self, sovereignty of self, where it's on the understanding that, let's just say deep down you're aware that over the last 12 years, even if you're really young and you're watching this, it's been a huge growth curve and you're now realizing it. Wow, this really, really does add up. You're seeing that you do have like the big, big, fat green light to advance yourself and rise into your full sovereignty in the area of your place in the world. And let's just say if you're a working adult in your career, for example, in your calling in this world, your place in this world, as others very much see you in a, in a very public place, like at the workplace. Okay, so this is a really good opportunity for you. In other words, really tapping into all of this awesome, good stuff about Jupiter in your career sector, in your place in the world, and owning it, not just you know, acting as if, but actually owning it, wearing the crown, wearing the robes, where you are literally the embodiment. You are living by example. You are the living example of that inspiration to others, that guiding light to others that everybody needs and that they love to follow. People love to be led. Not everybody wants to be a leader. Not everybody wants to be out there being a big, big spotlight and a lighthouse and beacon of hope for others. But you, Aquarius... This is your golden opportunity. So let's look more closely at your opportunity. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right, Aquarius. Like, bring it on. Bring it on. Like, this is also an opportunity to rise into, like, full mastery of the matters of the heart, where you might have really, really been either, say, left out or burned or fried, or completely lost over the years. And instead, you might be getting a real glimpse of what it's like to come into deep soul merger, not only with others, but primarily with yourself, where you realize that loving and being loved is fundamentally about loving you first. But this time, we're taking it to a much deeper, more powerful, more profound level, where you're going deep into the soul 
uh, and it might be very transformational for you. It might be a little bit uncomfortable, honestly, uh, Aquarius, for you to live through this cycle in that regard because you're really, really being pushed in the spotlight. Can you see that? There's so much pressure here uh, to literally be that uh, leader, the inspirational leader and the one who leads uh, from the heart, which, in other words, it's just like, okay, this is wonderful. This is all very glorious, but with great power comes great responsibility. So it could be understandable if you're scared of wearing the crown because it's a big, big, heavy load. And you might have dreamed this and wished for this, and it's been, you know, on your... Uh, horizon for a long time and now it's happening and it might be happening on a bigger scale than you had ever anticipated because so that puts you uh, very much in the limelight but also puts you uh, in a position of having to maintain very high levels of integrity and power and not abusing those powers and using that for the good of the masses of the people out there like your world your community your people it's beautiful it's just kind of big. It's, it's a big challenge. It's a big opportunity. So what is the challenge here? Let's have a quick look. Okay. Stepping out of the doldrums. Okay. So like a lot of people, you might have been enduring a lot of pain and stress for a long period of years. You're still going, but what it can do is it can drag you down and down and down where a lot of your attention is absorbed by woe is me by your problems, by your challenges, by everything that you might have dearly loved that kind of didn't pan out, didn't work out, and when it leaves you feeling, God, if only this, or I wish if only that, or it, it could have been so good if this, if only that, and what if, what if, oh, no, no, no. So you end up, the challenge is, uh, if you're used to carrying this kind of energy at a very, like, subliminal level, and it's just eating you up like rust, you know, like dust, you know, how it just accumulates, but you hardly ever notice it. You just kind of ignore it because it's just there, you know. And But what happens is the challenge here, whenever I see this little card, the Four of Cups, it's a very, very vivid reminder to like wake up, wake up, wake up to the attitude of gratitude and understand that love is around you all the time especially since you're now being called upon to live by example of uh, someone who truly understands what it's like to love oneself in order to be very loving and generous and magnanimous with others, especially in, let's call it your career in the world here, okay? So in order to do that, you literally have to learn how to uh, walk the talk. You can't just preach it or talk about it or write about it or, you know, you know, like symbolize it. You actually have to live it by example, which means having to refocus your attention on the energy of love here and then carry that very passionately forward, like literally becoming a living example of the healing power of love, of the energy of uh, heaven as, as a light force, as a life force that you can transmit. So instead of focusing on the the problems and the woe is me, you focus on the solution. So this is a strong indicator to like snap out of it. Big attitude adjustment, big, big attitude adjustment, Scorp uh, Aquarius, so that these energies, your situation can truly manifest and your opportunity can truly manifest. Because if you don't do that fundamental attitude shift, then the power and the energy is bestowed upon you here in terms of opportunity and natural gifts, they become diminished simply because, you know, you're focusing on the problem. Please understand, energy flows where attention goes. So if you're always focusing on what was me, oh, nobody loves me, I never quite made it in love and romance, whatever, you're, you're missing the big point that love is out there all the time anyway, but you have to focus on the love not the love that isn't there or the love that was lost. So how are you going to make the best of all this energy for Jupiter and Scorpio coming through with all of that? Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles here, you're going to find a way to lock it down, bring it down to Earth, and it's probably going to have to be done in a very, very long-term methodical, mechanical method process as though you are just, say, a very, very, very ordinary farmer who's just trying to do their job. 
of make their life and their world better, make their career better, make the workplace better, make their mission in this world better, make everything better and more awesome uh, simply by getting up every day and doing what has to be done in a very methodical way. And that's how you bring it home. That's how you, let's say, take all this amazing, big, out there kind of energy and start to bring it down to earth so that you're no longer consumed by what was no longer working and you rise above that by literally literally rolling your sleeves up and say, you know what, Aquarius, yeah, I might have had it rough for the last 12 years in certain ways, but we've got the chance now. We've got a real, real chance to really like stake your place in the world, make a mark in this world, be who you really are, who you were born to be in this world. And it starts right now, but you're not just going to jump into it. It's not as though you can just go into the hair, makeup, and wardrobe department and just put this on and all of a sudden there you are. Blam oh. It takes it's gonna take it's gonna take the whole year of work to get through this, to unlearn all these old behaviors and focus on the attitude of gratitude. Uh, focus on the solutions, not the problem, and grow into it your, in your new, evolved, uh, bigger, brighter, bolder self very systematically, very methodically, okay? So I hope you get something out of this reading. Usual thing, watch for your sun, moon, and rising and make the most of it. Now, you're probably going to have to do a lot of pause and rewind, pause and rewind. So I'm just going to put this here just for a moment. So you can see that we started with this as the weather. This is your spread. You can reinterpret how you like. These are the core themes again. I'll leave it there fully open. So you can read all that in your, at your leisure. I'm going to put this back here. Okay. And I'm just going to do a quick reminder here. All right. All right. So thank you so, so much, Aquarius. Have an awesome transit with Jupiter. Thanks for coming to Terra Illumination. Love doing this for you. Bye-bye now.